Good evening. Federal Parliament has been plunged into chaos amid revelations the Deputy Prime Minister holds New Zealand citizenship. Barnaby Joyce is now ineligible under the Constitution and the government could soon lose its fragile one-seat majority. Phoebe Bowden joins us from Canberra. Phoebe, what's the political future of our newest dual citizen? Georgie, Malcolm Turnbull came out with very strong language in question time today, saying he is confident that Barnaby Joyce will be allowed to stay in Parliament and in turn his government will keep its very fragile majority. It was strange to see such strong language from our Prime Minister about a matter that will go before the High Court, but it was a very exceptional day here in Canberra. Barnaby Joyce considers himself a true blue, but in fact, he's an all black. The Deputy Prime Minister is a New Zealand citizen. This is a government without legitimacy. This is a government that has had to, for the first time in the history of this country, go to the High Court. Foreign citizens are ineligible to sit in Parliament under the Constitution. The Deputy Prime Minister is qualified to sit in this House and the High Court will so hold. Mr Joyce was born and raised in Australia, but he's a Kiwi through his dad. They considered that I, might, I may be a citizen by descent of New Zealand. Needless to say, I was shocked to receive this information. The High Court has been asked to decide Mr Joyce's fate and in turn that of the government. I've often said that the Deputy Prime Minister is all hat, no cowboy. And now we are entitled to even question his right to wear the hat. If the Deputy PM is booted from Parliament, the government would lose the majority it needs to hold power. Talk about lawlessness! We've got someone in the role of Deputy Prime Minister and we're not even sure if he's meant to be a Member of Parliament. The Speaker was in no mood for arguments today, giving three Labor MPs their marching orders. I'm not proceeding until he's left, so... The Prime Minister wrote to the opposition leader, urging him to nominate anyone who may fall foul of the law. Bill Shorten promptly responded, saying he had to politely decline because Labor had very strict screening processes. I've been 24 years and I get to run into one of these kinds of problems. The citizenship saga began one month ago today, when and Green Senator Scott Ludlam resigned after discovering he is a New Zealand citizen. Next was fellow Green Larissa Waters, who says she didn't know she was Canadian. And it shows the incredible sloppiness on their part. Soon after that, Matt Canavan stepped down from Cabinet, blaming his mother for registering him as an Italian citizen. How is it that Senator Canavan has had to step aside and the Deputy Prime Minister is still here. One Nation Senator Malcolm Roberts has also been referred to the High Court over possible UK citizenship. The court will hear the cases of all four senators later this month. If Barnaby Joyce is ineligible, it will lead to a by-election and the biggest test of Malcolm Turnbull's political life. And the no date has been set for Barnaby Joyce's case to be heard by the High Court. The other four senators' matters will be heard later this month in Brisbane. Questions are still being asked about whether this part of the Constitution needs to be reformed given so many Australians hold dual citizenship. Georgie. Thank you, Phoebe Bowden in Canberra.